took a while to process that to sort of understand that I'd actually had been lying on the ground dead for 17 minutes and ironically this all happened on the same day my father died. My name's Darren Jones and I survived having a cardiac arrest on the cricket field. I can't tell you much other than from what I've been told and I know it was, I was playing on that ground out the back, fielded a few balls, one went in the air to probably about 50 metres away from where I was. I knew I wasn't going to catch it but the vain hope was there that I would but I didn't get too far before I hit the ground and was basically dead on the ground for 17 minutes. My experience of the day, I can't say I remember all that much. I'm staying home playing video games. For whatever reason, I end up looking at my phone. The old lady's gone, your dad's dead. I was sitting on the sidelines having a chat to one of the girls and I've just happened to look up at the field and noticed there was someone lying down and I thought, oh, who's that? And I said, I've done a head count. I'm thinking, uh-oh, where is he? And I'm going, oh no, it's him. So I've just bolted. And at this stage, the, the boys had all started to to sort of gather around him. So I was actually playing on the main ground, so just out here, and one of the guys from the cricket club ran in and asked for the defib because someone had collapsed, not knowing who it was, and it was Darren. I ran over, grabbed it, and ran straight out there, performed CPR while another guy, Josh, applied the defib. The first responders, no, thank God they were there and yeah, loved them to bits. They did a fantastic job. Without them, he wouldn't be here. My first memory is probably two or three days later, there was a bit of big bash on the TV. I think it must have been half-time interval because Gilly was thanking someone. I don't remember certain visitors, apparently I had a few. We got taken out of the room because they had to take him up for an angiogram. So we were just in a little waiting room. Nurse come back down and sort of said he's got cardiomyopathy. They have to put a pacemaker in. It was day five when I had the surgery for the implant to go in. Then day six, I was sent home. And the hospital, fantastic. They did a terrific job. The importance of a defib, it's quite critical that all sporting clubs need to have one. It's so easy to learn. You're better off having it and not needing it than needing it than not having one. The defib is highly important because the underlying heart condition that I didn't know I had, having the arrest, the only thing that was going to save me was the defib. They're so important, like Darren said, that if he hadn't been defibbed, he wouldn't be here. I do appreciate being standing here and even doing this interview, because it's a lot better than the alternative. Any day living and breathing, it's just head up, eyes forward, step, and away you go.